Hey family of Israel, um, welcome to this channel. Welcome to this ministry. Set Apart is 144. My name is Sister Mildred. So welcome to all who um, happens to click on this video, okay? Um, I am feeling a tug um, in my spirit to share, act, to actually share my experience of um, when I went back to wearing um, the fake synthetic hair, okay? So a lot of you know who follow this channel, you already know that I've been natural for many years and um, I actually promote natural beauty on my channel, um, you know, so on and so forth. And I shared the testimony of where Abba Father called me to surrender these things to him a couple of years ago and I did obey and then recently I went back okay so give me one second <laughs> okay so they were mowing the lawn outside okay so yeah I want to share my experience and my truth of what happened to me when I did decide to um, put synthetic hair in my hair, head again, hair again. Um, and it only lasted about three weeks because um, I couldn't withstand what was happening to me and also the conviction that I was getting from the father. Uh, a bunch of mess. Um, and I blame myself for well, what happened to me so okay um i went back to wearing synthetic hair for like three weeks and it caused a lot of damage okay so and it was me who had i didn't pay anyone to to put the hair in my head i actually know how to braid and do all that extra stuff because i used to do that um years ago okay so i applied the hair on my on my hair and within that same night i experienced um some itching on my head okay and then so i was like looking up to see how i can stop the itching so on and so forth i went and bought some itch free spray braiding spray whole bunch of stuff that's still it, it gave me some type of um relief but it was just still there i can't even explain it and then so a lot of uh, women um made videos concerning that talking about you, you're supposed to wash the hair with apple cider vinegar so on and so forth um anyway the within um the second week of having the hair on my head okay i experienced some type of uh i don't even know how to how to, how to call it these mm, it's not like pimples or i don't know what they were but there were these it was like a breakout rash type of situation that happened in the back of my head and i think um heavenly father um, I feel like that was a warning and a grace um, coming from him, um, sh sh tugging at me, tugging at me, uh, letting me know that this is not where it's at for me, okay? Um, it happened in the back of my head. And I okay, so by that point, um, I am literally resisting and rebel rebelling against my convictions against the holy spirit that's convicting me um even though the results the outcome i'm facing uh the disobedience i'm facing what's going on with me um obviously my skin is having some type of allergic reaction towards the hair um it's affecting me um you know and you know, I had a dream even having it, you know, uh, a whole, 
<laughs> while having the hair on my head, I had a, a demonic dream concerning it. Um, you know, Holy Spirit was re- was revealing to me, um, convicted me very hard, and so on and so forth. Um, so I knew that I had to take the hair out. I knew um, I had to take the hair out while I was putting it in. Um, it, it was as if, like, Holy Spirit was just like, he's like, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing this? You know that I called you out of it many years ago. What, what, what's going on? Um, again, I knew what I was doing before I did it. I did it anyway. And I didn't, I, I couldn't even enjoy or l- like it while I had it on my head. Um, around the time, uh, I was, t- I took a lot of pictures with it. Um, and I was putting it on my social, uh, page on my Facebook, but I knew very well, um, to not, um, come on YouTube or my ministry. I knew what I, again, I knew what I was doing and I knew that, um, Yahuwah was looking down on me and, um, I was feeling guilt and shame, um, with it on, with itching and these things that was popping up in the back of my head, on my head, um, or with all of these things happening, I'm like, oh my goodness, um, there's no way I could last a month um, with this on. I have to take this out of my head. Um, no matter how, which way I look at it, I, I can't go. I can't go around this and have peace. There was no peace. Yeah. Okay. That's the word. I had no peace at all. So while all of that was happening, um, I have a moment, a breakdown with Abba. Okay, I was very upfront with him. I said to ask him, I asked him the question. I said, um, why is it that, that I can't do this? Why have you, why can't I once in a while put this on my head? Like, what's the big deal? Um, you know, I spent so many years without putting it on my head, like for like seven years, I I stayed natural and faithful to what he called me to. And, and, but to be honest though, me going back to it and also the, you know, I had put makeup on little, little makeup on and, um, jewelry. Okay. Uh, after going back to those things in my spirit, I felt like I was just forcing myself to do it. I felt like there was nothing that I was missing. I didn't see the hype. I didn't see, I didn't see, I, I, I guess I just, I was just very comfortable and used to just being natural that the add-ons weren't fulfilling anything anymore. And a part of me, I kind of feel like I'm glad that I did j- just just to see that it's not a big deal and I'm not missing anything. Um, what other women are doing, right now, I'm not missing it. I'm not missing out on anything. Um, and the beauty that Abba has given me is enough. It's enough. Oh, hallelujah. It's enough. It's enough. Um, I pray, you know, that any woman who's watching this gets edified. And if you are feeling tempted to go back to those things, Abba did call you out and you, you get tempted to go back. Learn from me right now. Learn from my mistakes. Um, I pray that this, you know, helps you a little bit, you know. Um, just hearing it from, from me and I, I'm getting emotional. Next clip. (laughs) So yeah, I, I did, I asked him that question. I said, what's the big deal? I see tons of women 
do this and they have no problems um and a lot of them are your daughters they are they are in Christ there are a lot of I have a lot of sisters in Christ who still put synthetic synthetic hair on their head and they they have normal lives they're and they're anointed they're um you're using them for your glory then and it seems as if they're not being convicted at all why is it so why why do you convict me but you don't convict them or what's going on about that <laughs> um um he answered me a couple of days afterwards and he looked at, he said to me mercy mercy on me he's like pretty much i'm giving you mercy right now mercy um um i started you know i, I was in tears um i understood what he meant when he said mercy on me um he's giving me mercy okay i understood him anyway so i know not to go and put human hair on my head because of the spiritual aspects of that you know i know that abba revealed to me that the human hair you know people overseas they take their head hair and they sacrifice it to their gods and so on and so forth so i knew better to not put human hair on my head so i went the synthetic route but even the synthetic route is also a cursed thing um it may not be sacrificed to other gods but it's still also cursed it is not blessed um and anything that can cause you cause you to itch um and have a breakout you should stay away from um and i even like a lot of research and people were coming out saying that synthetic hair even gives you cancer and affects your um uh it's, i think it affects you of having uh, having children i don't know so some somewhere along those uh lines okay please don't quote me but i'm just sharing what i've heard concerning concerning synthetic hair okay some the chemicals something that's they're putting in the hair that's causing um things like that okay um i'm just sharing my truth to my sisters who are still um doing this and or being tempted to go back and do it okay um so yeah, I just wanted to just share that with you guys, okay? Um and if Abba is convicting me so much about this, he doesn't want me, he did not want me doing that. It's very very apparent in my life. Um if it wasn't if if it wasn't proof enough before when I was doing it years ago, it's definitely definitely if i doubted him um if i let other voices come into my into my into my head if i doubted myself you know all of that is wrong everything that abba told me years ago concerning false fake beauty idols vanity um is correct again this is not you know me trying to judge or condemn anyone okay no 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 nothing like that i'm just sharing my truth and my experience and to save someone out there to ch of the trouble of um learning things the hard way you know um and a, a lot of women experience a lot of hair thinning because of the synthetic um hair and always putting it on your head and 
um, experiencing a lot of sh hair shedding, uh, baldness, and a lot uh, the the putting synthetic hair on your head is is it's a cursed item. It's not doing anything good for you, and it's doing the reverse. A lot of women use that to protect their hair, to grow their hair while um while having their hair in the braids um but i'm just i'm just letting you know that you know what's on the father's heart concerning this okay and you may not be somebody who may be experiencing any allergic reactions um so on and so forth but that doesn't mean um that you should continue doing so when you know when you know what it can do you see what i'm saying anyway um yeah um the spirit of Jezebel is like always constantly attacking me um and like, i'm not <laughs> i'm not saying all women who wears synthetic hair has the spirit of Jezebel. That's not, please do not um, uh, switch my words because, you know, this is YouTube. Anybody could just take your video and say what, do whatever with it. Um, again, I'm not saying people who wear synthetic hair or fake hair has automatically has the spirit of Jezebel. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, um, but fake beauty is is a can be a part of that spirit right and um i come from a family of the principality of jezebel the marine kingdom in my family i I've, I've shared many testimonies um of that on my channel this is a principality that i'm always coming up against even though i have experienced many deliverances um, and so on and so forth, but that spirit is always still trying to attack me, still trying to initiate me, so on and so forth. And one of the ways of opening a door for me in my life is through um, fake beauty idols. I know that, I understand that. Um, but now that I did finally give in the temptation and went and and put the thing in my head and, you know, put the makeup on my face and all that. I finally gave in and I went, I, I did it. Um, I figured out that I'm not missing anything. And now that I, I finally know that I'm not missing anything, I could literally just move on and just like, have peace with my decision of following um, the convictions of the Holy Spirit for my life. Okay, working out my salvation with my with my uh, fear and trembling for my life, the convictions of the Father for my life. I can finally just uh, fully, fully accept it and just move on and live my life in freedom and liberation, like. I do not see what the hype is about anymore. I don't. Um, you know, taking away something from somebody, staying and ha having so many years not doing it, and then finally doing it, realizing that what was the hype? Um, I f almost forgot. There was uh, one spiritual aspect that did occur that I noticed there was a change. There was a change in me when I did ha when I did have the hair on my head. Um, I noticed that it was so it was hard for me to submit to my husband during the time I had um, the hair on my head. I feel the presence of the Holy Spirit right now saying this. You know, doing this video, um, the Holy Spirit just reminded me, yeah, there was a spiritual aspect um, it affected me spiritually uh, when I did have the hair, hair on my head. 
not only that I had gotten a demonic dream about it, but I noticed that when I did have the hair on my head, I was very, um, I did not, I, it was hard for me to listen to my husband's leadership and submit to him. Like there was more, um, f back and forth and, um, and I'm, I'm not like that with him. <laughs> so that was going on when I had that hair on my head. Um, there wasn't any peace in my home and there wasn't any peace within me. Yeah, that is a fact. Um, yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. After me saying this just now, I wonder why, is that why it's so hard for a lot of women right now to be paired up with their spouses? Um, is it because that they're still attached to beauty idols um, that could be affecting their femininity? Um, could be affecting them spiritually um, to where it could be a blockage to to find to be to be found by their husbands to be married i don't know i do again i don't know i'm just um it's just a question an educated question to why things are the way they are right now um yeah anyway yeah anyway i hope this helps and um brings any type of education or confirmation to anyone who watched um again i'm not here to judge or condemn anyone i'm just sharing my truth uh, to the family of israel okay um so yeah thank you for watching guys um and shalom shalom